Hey guys, my name is Courtney Burks and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we have a little guest here who, this is my dog. He is needing some love right now and I'm giving it to him, as you can see. Today's video is going to be about my experience at Dillard University and how I paid for college. You done? Hey. Hey, are you done? You done? I know you want all this attention, but I gotta do, I gotta work, okay? Okay? Did you say hi? <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the video. So, how did I pay for college? My first semester at Dillard University, I had a 3.8 GPA and I killed it. So, I didn't really need to seek funding because my GPA stood for itself and then there was funding um, offered and readily available to me. So the number one advice that I'll give someone, hey, sit down. The number one advice I'll give to someone thinking about coming to college, particularly uh, Dillard University, is the better you do, the more resources you'll have. Um, I know for me personally, whenever you attend a HBCU, it's all about relationships. Who you know and like, not necessarily going into it, but make sure you make yourself very well known. Hi, my name is Courtney Burks, da 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 And people are going to know you for that. Reputation is, oh, it's very big in the HBCU community. And that's basically how it is in the world as well. So I'm not going to like specifically make it seem like it's so much different because it's really not. But considering we're talking about Dillard and HBCUs, that's how it correlates. But yeah, basically do your best. Um, don't not finish your education or start your education because of loans. Because everyone basically has to take out loans. I won't lie to you. But the, like I said, the better you do and the more relationships you have, you you college will be paid for. Sorry for stuttering. I'm also going to um, link some places that I look for scholarships, like scholarships.com, UNCF, uh, FAFSA had some things, FASWeb. I mean, it's going to take work, but you can definitely do it. On the flip side of that, you can also follow my personal page, Courtney Burks. Uh, I like to post inspirational things and also ways that you can pay, uh, not always pay for college, but you know, extra ways that you can make money. I'm all about my money. And you can also go to Community Queens. Uh, that is my nonprofit organization. And basically, we help underprivileged young ladies apply to college and universities. And so, at Community Queens, you can follow us on Instagram. We'll start posting things every Tuesday. We call that Scholarship Tuesdays. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Tuition Tuesdays. And so that will be ways that you can pay for college as well. So Coca-Cola does um, different scholarships, even Foot Locker. Everybody basically has a scholarship, especially that's a corporation. They get some stuff back from their taxes, BTW. But that will be easier ways to help you all pay for school. Um, I'm here to help so if you have any other questions about how to pay for college link them down below but it will take work because college is expensive and it's also a business so just keep that in mind but it's definitely worth it. Um, when it pertains to my experience at Dillard I would say Dillard is what you make it. If you want Dillard to be the best experience of your life and have a great job leaving out, then create those relationships, especially being at a historically black college and university. It's such a small community that you really can know the president, know the VP, know people. Make your voice heard and um, make a very positive reputation for yourself. That is the best advice that I can give somebody. Um, looking to attend Dillard. What is Dillard like? Dillard is in New Orleans. So New Orleans is a fun, loving city anyways because you have the Saints, then you have Mardi Gras, which they have like an array of parades. Um, the people here are so much different than anywhere else, which a lot of people say, but New Orleans is truly different in a good way. So you can go to City Park because it's like a mile, I believe, or a mile and a half away from Dillard. You can literally walk there and they always have events going on like Voodoo Fest, um, uh, make it like I said you have different things that's going on within the city so maybe you get tired of it because it is a small community like if you don't like small intimate settings then I wouldn't attend Dillard and I'm just being honest with you it's not a traditional HBCU either which kind of threw me for a shock but we don't have a football team 
like basketball is kind of our thing and our rivalry school is Xavier or X who you know <laughs> I'm sorry that was so shady um but in essence Dillard is a great institution and Dillard will allow you and afford you the opportunities to definitely change your family dynamic and make some good money and really set yourself up for success. A lot of people behind closed doors know who Dillard is. So no, it may not be a Howard or a Spellman or a Morehouse, but Dillard definitely has a household name in a lot of different corporations. Particularly, I know in nursing, pre-law, Miss Kimbrough has definitely um, set the bar high for the pre-law students. We just got our accreditation back for nursing. Let me think. Um, the film program, I believe Denzel Washington is partnered either with the film program or the theater theater program. And then, of course, we have, um, I mean, we just, I don't want to be like boisterous about it but Dillard really is a great institution and it's one of those places where you have to come and experience it yourself and Dillard also isn't for everybody and if you feel like Dillard doesn't make you feel at home or it's too much for you because it is a small institution so that can have its downfalls then go somewhere where you feel comfortable because it's a lot of money getting a degree that's one thing I will say but Dillard is nothing that is any different than any other institution out there. It's no different than LSU, Southern, PBAMU, I just name PWIs and HBCUs. But I will say this, the relationships I have at Dillard have propelled me better than I see my peers um, that attend other HBCUs and PWIs. So the best thing I would tell you when it pertains to um, my Dillard experience is relationships will get you farther than hard work will ever get you. I'll just be honest with you. So, I hope that helped. If you want me to do a detailed, more detailed video, please comment below. A lot of you all are DMing me and I really appreciate it, but I don't always see them in enough time. So it does take me time to set things up and to make this look aesthetically ple appeasing. Sorry, that looks horrible. So DM me and let me know what work, like what questions specifically you have. Um, maybe it's about a professor or things that you read or maybe you heard. I'll do my best to um, answer them and I may see if I can get some other students from different um, HBCUs or even students at Dillard to discuss their Dillard experience because I've noticed a lot of people, um, they definitely want to know. But Alrighty guys, so that's my two things on um, how I pay for college and the DU experience. Like I said, DU is what you make it. Um, so definitely put in your best foot and you'll definitely get your return. If you have any comments or questions, definitely comment them below. A lot of you all are DMing me and while I do appreciate it, it will really help if you just comment below and I can see it and I can prepare to make more videos about Dillard and also how to pay for college. Lastly, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And if you're not following me on all social media platforms, you can at Courtney Burks and also follow Community Queens to get more scholarship information and how to pay for college. Thank you all so much and I'll see you Friday.